Hey there, this is Matteo from Spadaco Milano and today we're in Via Ungheria, very close to Mecenata and Rogoredo, in order to show you a shared apartment with four bedrooms, kitchen, bathroom and a large balcony, which is located on the third floor, is accessible both through the stairs and through this elevator right here. So now let's just go ahead and let me show you around. So as we walk in, we access the main hall of which the apartment is structured. On our right, we find the bedrooms. So that's bedroom number four, bedroom number three with a closet here. Here we have the shared bathroom, bedroom number two, and number one with the access to the balcony, which is also accessible through the kitchen shared between the four bedrooms. So we just quickly begin our tour from here. This is a fully equipped kitchen. We find indeed the microwave as well as the oven from here, both of them pretty modern. We have a cabinet here for the food and utensils and some shelvings on the top. We also find a large fridge, which is quite enough to accommodate all of the tenants, and a freezer at the bottom. Some shelvings here on the side, while on the opposite end we find a double sink with a flexible hose, which is pretty handy. Some cabinets at the bottom, and we also find a dishwasher down here. On the top we have more cupboards, including the rack to dry your plates after washing. Some for the mugs in here. And continuing on the kitchen counter, we, encounter, we find a large gas stove. In the drawer we find a large set of cutlery. And we have some more pots and utensils down here. Actually plenty of them. We have some utensils hanging here as well. And a cupboard at the bottom with some more plates. And yes, one more here at the top for the spices. As we mentioned, through this uh, little French door, we can access the shared balcony. Uh, we find some blinds to provide some shelter. We also have a little table. And this is also accessible through bedroom number one, which we're gonna show you straight away. This is the view that we get from the balcony and this pretty nice garden, which is the building one. So this was formerly the living room of the apartment. It's now been uh, set up as uh, an additional bedroom. In here we find some shelvings all over here and we also have a large flat screen TV with a chest of drawers at the bottom. We also find the little desk with a couple of chairs, the air conditioning unit and there's also a private little fridge in addition to the one that we find in the kitchen. Now this couch can be converted into a double bed, so this can become a pretty comfortable bedroom indeed. And we find a rack with a standalone wardrobe right behind it, fairly spacious, and this nice set of uh, shelvings with containers inside and organizers. There's also a chest of drawers. And now we can head back through the entrance hall, in which we also have an additional table with a large mirror on the top. Bedroom number two is currently occupied, so we're not able to show it to you, but we can show you the bathroom, which is fairly large, with two sinks, which is handy as we're servicing four bedrooms. There's a large mirror on top of it, and some cupboards underneath. Continuing on the bathroom, we've got both of the toilets, the bathroom and the day as well as a pretty large bathtub here at the end with a shower as well. There's a window on the exterior side. As for the location, we're pretty close to Milano Rogoredo, the Passante train station, where you also can catch the underground line number three. It's accessible through a couple of stops of a bus, so pretty handy. In here we have the washing machine. I'm not sure why it's been locked up at the moment, but we can show you bedroom number three, in which we find this uh, set of drawers, a little desk, and some more shavings here. In this case, we have a single bed with a chest of drawers at the bottom, and there's a standalone wardrobe with sliding doors all over here with a built in mirror, while the window is actually an exterior one, so overlooking the street side. On the same street, Via Lungheria, we've got uh, street markets weekly. And we also find plenty of facilities, including post office, as well as supermarkets, just a quick walk away. 
As for the rest, we're pretty close to Mecenate, and we've got plenty of public transport passing by, connecting you to the rest of the city. And with this, we showed you everything, so thanks for watching, and see you next time. Ciao, ciao!